Hello and welcome to Carrier Golf Course Pub Quiz for the week of the 25th of May 2018. This quiz is number 49 and it features mountains, Mozart and cuter animals. The rules are the same as usual. There will be 25 points. There's one point, uh, one point per question except for questions 10 and 19 which have two and five parts. Give yourself a couple of minutes. You only need pen and paper. Uh, good luck. And if you like it, please upvote and leave a comment if you've got something to say. I try to reply to every comment. Also, thanks to my Patreon supporters. Support on Patreon does help me to keep doing this as well as making me feel very much appreciated. Um, thank you, all four of you listed here, as well as anyone else who has donated since I made this slide. Kieran, James, Stephen Bread, and Kanbei must have bases. You are the star supporters. But without further ado, question one coming up. Hernán Cortés was a Spanish conquistador who led an expedition that ultimately collapsed the Aztec Empire and brought most of what is now Mexico under the rule of the King of Castile, which is Spain. He was born in Medellín, Spain. I probably butchered that pronunciation, but he lived to be 62. You can give me any year in which he was alive for the point here, so there are 62 correct answers. Question 2. Hyperexia, or high fever, is a medical emergency condition as it may indicate a serious underlying problem or otherwise lead to serious health problems if it's untreated. At what temperature should you consider calling an ambulance? I'm looking for the like threshold point at which you should call the ambulance. There is a slight range and you may answer in degrees C or degrees F, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Question 3. The Secretary General of the United Nations is the Chief Administrative Officer of the UN. For the whole point, name the current Sec Secretary General of the United Nations. For half a point only, you can name any one of the nine previous Secretary Generals. Question 4. Alice in Wonderland is the widely used title of a story about a girl who falls down a rabbit hole. However, the original book by Lewis Carroll used a slightly different title. The sequel book is also commonly referred to using a paraphrased title. So for the whole point here, I'm looking for the full title of either the first or second book. Only one of the books, but you need the full title. For half a point, you can give me the common short name of the sequel. Question 5. The Halifax explosion was the largest man-made explosion prior to the development of nuclear arms. Approximately 11,000 people were injured or killed. What exploded to cause this disaster? Was it A. A mining TNT cache? B. A weapons factory? C. A ship carrying ammo? D. A gas refinery? E. A power station? Or F. A bomb? Obviously non-nuclear since we're before that, but that's your final option. Question six. This is the anagram question, and we are looking for a recently controversial film figure in the anagram Ivy Kneecaps. Question seven. There are two types of nuclear power station. The currently used type that burn uranium or plutonium, and the hypothetical future type that could potentially run on water. Name the two separate nuclear processes involved, and there are no half points here, you have to get both of them. Question 8. This is the maths question. We are looking at Johan returning from holiday in the UAE back to the USA. He has some leftover holiday money. In fact, he has 3,500 Emirati dirham, which use the code AED. He converts his dirham back to dollars at a rate of 11 dirham to $3. How much does Johan get for his 3,500 dirhams? You give, need to give your answer to the nearest cent, but you get half a point if you're right to the nearest dollar. Question 9. 
The men's high jump world record was set in 1993 by the Cuban athlete Javier Sotomayor. Probably butchered that pronunciation, but never mind. How high is this record high jump? Is it A, 2.04 uh, meters, B, 2.15 meters, C, 2.26 meters, D, 2.36 meters, E, 2.45 meters, or F, 2.54 meters? Question 10. This is the two parter, and we're looking at mountain ranges of Europe. So for half a point each, which European mountain range is being described? First, this range extends across eight countries including Slovakia, Hungary, Poland and Romania, containing the largest portion. That is that Romania contains the largest portion. The highest peak is Gelaskowski Stirt at 2,655 metres. So you need the name of that mountain range for the half point, and then for the second half point, this mountain range marks the border between two large countries in Europe and contains the microstate of Andorra. The highest peak, Anito, stands at 3,404 metres tall. For 10b, two more mountain ranges. You get half a point for each, same as for part A. The first, serving as the border between Europe and Asia, this range contains the tallest peak in Europe, Mount Elborus. It stands 5,648 metres high. And second for part B, this range breaks off from the Alps and runs around 1,200 kilometres along the length of the Italian peninsula. Corno Grande at 2,912 metres is the highest peak. So all in all you need to have four different European mountain ranges named. Question 11. Mozart is so famous as a classical composer that he's widely known just by his family name, Mozart. However, in life he went by a longer name, and you just have to give me that commonly used long name for Mozart. This is the name that his Wikipedia entry is under. Question 12. Below are two large modern cities that used to have completely different names. For half a point each, give both old names. So the cities are Tokyo and Mumbai. We're looking for the, what they used to be called before they changed their current names. Question 13. This is the acronyms question, so you need to expand any one of the acronyms shown below to get the point. First, the director won a BAFTA award. Second, they tested to see if her BAC was too high. And third, she sent her boss a BCC of the email. Moving on to question 14. For half a point each, name both of these characters from Greek mythology. So we have the man condemned to roll a boulder up a hill, watch it roll back down just before reaching the top, and have to roll it back up again. Forever. Quite a famous one, this. Uh, Second, we have the Titan condemned to have his liver picked, pecked out and devoured each day by an eagle, and then have that liver regrow at night, ready for the next day. Again, forever. Very cheerful people, these Greeks. Question 15. The Nazca Lines are a series of large ancient geoglyphs depicting complex forms such as a monkey, condor, and spider. They were declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994. In which modern country are they located? Question 16. Below is a Frankenstein-esque mashup of four European flags. For the point, name any two. So there are four flags in that mashup, you need to name two of them. Question 17. Black Sabbath released their eponymous debut album in the same year as all these other events. You have to tell me what year. So, Black Sabbath's album, the Apollo 13 is launched, an oxygen tank explodes and forces the crew to abort the mission, but they return safely. The Beatles release, release their 12th and final studio album, Let It Be. Brazil defeats Italy 4-1 to win the FIFA World Cup in Mexico. US President Richard Nixon visits Yugoslavia. 
Benjamin Mendoza fails to assassinate Pope Paul VI. Warwick Davis, Simon Pegg, Mariah Carey, Uma Thurman, Matt Damon, and Niklas Lindstrom are all born. Question 18. Auschwitz-Birkenau is perhaps the best known of the concentration camps of Nazi Germany used in the Holocaust. There are 23 more camps considered to be main concentration camps in Europe. Name any one of these other concentration camps besides Auschwitz. Pretty dark. But we're going to lighten it back up again. Question 19 is the five-parter, and we're taking a trip to the zoo, part two, since there was one of these before. We're going to do some cute animal trivia to round this one out. 19a. The meerkat is a small mammal belonging to the mongoose family. It is known for standing on its hind legs to look for predators. Where are they found in the wild? Is it Southern Africa, Northwestern Africa, Central Asia, the Middle East, or South America? Question 19b. The clownfish was made famous by Pixar's excellent film, Finding Nemo. Less so by its less excellent sequel. But anyway, for the whole point, what creature attacks at the beginning of the film? Or for half point, what species do clownfish live with, live symbiotically with? For 19c, the dick dick is a species of small antelope. Their name comes from the whistling sound that they make when they feel threatened. How tall is a full grown dick dick? Is it 20 to 30 centimetres, 30 to 40 centimetres, 40 to 50 centimetres, 50 to 60 centimetres, or 60 to 70 centimetres? For 19D, cockatoos are a group of parrots recognised for their showy crests and curved beaks. A male Major Mitchell's cockatoo, called Cookie, holds a spot in the Guinness World Records as the world's longest-lived parrot. He died on August 27, 2016. How old was Cookie when he died? Was he 55, 64, 73, 82, or 91? And lastly, 19e. Besides man, there are three other species of great ape. Gorillas, chimps, and orangutans. Which one of these is not native to Africa? Oh, in fact, there's two parts of this. So, name the great ape which lives outside Africa and name the continent that it lives in. So, one of these doesn't live in Africa. You have to name which one, and then you have to tell me which continent they actually live on. Okay, that brings us to an end of the normal questions. So now, we have who we're playing. We're going to be looking for the original version of the song you're about to see, and I'm going to say that this is worth points. It went quite well last week, so we're going to do it again. The song this week is I Will Survive, and I mean, here's the beginning lyrics. At first I was afraid, I was petrified, kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. So on, so on. Oh no, not I, I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've got all my life to live, I've got all my love to give, and I'll survive. I will survive. So with that, we've been through all the questions. Make sure that you've taken all your guesses, because we're about to start going through the answers. Okay, here we go. Question one, we were looking for any year in which Hernan Cortez was alive. He lived from 1485 until 1547, so anything between those years, including those two. Question two. Hyperexia, or high fever, begins at 40 degrees C to 42 degrees C, depending on what medical authority you consult. And the equivalent degrees freedom is 104 to 107.6. Question three. The Secretary General of the United Nations is currently Antonio Gutierrez. However, if you didn't know that, you would have gotten half a point for any of his predecessors, which are, from first to the most recent, they are Goldwyn Jeb, Trigvi Lee, Doug Hammersgold, U Thant, Kurt Waldheim, Javier Perez de Culia, 
Boutros Boutros Gali, Koif Anan, and Ban Ki Moon. Question 4. We were looking for the full title of Alice in Wonderland or its sequel, and those are Alice's Adventures in Wonderland for the first, and Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There for the second. The half point, however, was for the short name of the sequel, which is just Alice Through the Looking Glass. Question 5. The Halifax explosion was a ship carrying ammunition. The SS Mont Blanc was carrying high explosives and it caught fire in a harbour on a December 6th, 1917. It exploded with a force of 2.9 kilotons and over 1,600 people were killed instantly as every building in a 2.6 kilometre radius was destroyed or critically damaged. Question 6. We were looking for Kevin Spacey, the recently controversial film figure hiding in Ivy kneecaps. Question 7. The two types of nuclear power are fission and fusion. One to split and one to join. Question 8. The maths question. The difficulty here mainly comes down to can you divide by 11, I feel. Uh, you needed to get 954.55, or $954.55. If you missed the number of cents but you got $954, that's worth half a point. The men's high jump, the world record is 2 meters and, two meters and 45 centimeters which is a stunningly high jump, I don't even understand. Question 10, we were looking for mountain ranges. So the range that is mostly in Romania but extends across eight countries is the Carpathian Mountains. The range that marks the border between two large countries and contains Andorra is the Pyrenees between France and Spain. The Europe-Asia border range is the Caucasus or the Caucasus Mountains and the range that runs down the Italian peninsula are the Apennines. I believe that's how you pronounce it, not Apennines. Apennines. Question 11. Mozart was Wolfgang Amadeus. Although it's not completely without controversy. He was baptised as Johannes Christostomus, uh, Chrysostomus Wolfgangus Theophilus Mozart. He often spelt his name Amade instead of Amadeus and he occasionally used the name Gottlieb. Anyway, question 12. The city of Tokyo was formerly known as Edo and the city of Mumbai was formerly known as Bombay. So each of those is worth half a point, Edo and Bombay. Question 13. The acronyms were British Academy of Film and Television Art for BAFTA, BAC was Blood Alcohol Content, and BCC is Blind Carbon Copy, from back when we were typing things on typewriters, but the terminology has stuck for emails. Question 14. The two famous Greek characters are Sisyphus, who is doomed to do a pointless task forever, and Prometheus, who is to be punished for stealing fire from the gods forever. Question 15. The Nazca Lines are located in Peru. I hope to see them one day, I think. Question 16. The mashup this week was of Estonia in the top right, Bosnia and Herzegovina with their triangle and stars, the Czech Republic with the red and blue triangle, and Cyprus with the outline there at the bottom. Obviously I will accept Czechia instead of Czech Republic since I believe their English language name has been updated. Question 17. All of these events, Black Sabbath's album, the Apollo 13, Brazil winning the Mexican World Cup, that was 1970. 
question 18. The other concentration camps are Belzec, Bergen-Belsen, Buchenwald, Kelmno, Dachau, Ebsi, Flossenburg, Grossrossen, Janowska, Kaiserwald, Majdanke, Mahusen-Gusen, Natzweiler-Struthoff, Nungama, Nordhusen, which was also called Dora Milbau, uh, Sachsenhausen, or Orienburg, Plaszau, Ravensburg, Sobibord, Suthoff, Terezin, which was also called Terinstad, Treblinka, and Vesterbock. The ones that I knew before I made this question were Treblinka and Bergen Belsen. But anyway, that was definitely not cheerful. Question 19, however, hopefully a bit more cheerful. The meerkat lives in southern Africa. You can see its range there on that picture. The clownfish was attacked by Barracuda at the start of Finding Nemo, and they live in sea anemones. It's not a spelling competition as usual, so close enough spelling of anemones will still earn the half point. However, for the whole point, you needed Barracuda. For 19C, the Dick Dick, it is only 30 to 40 centimetres tall when fully grown tiny little things. The cockatoo, Cookie, he lived to be 82 years old and that middle picture is in fact a picture of Cookie when he was 78 I think. Question 19e. Besides man, the other great apes are gorillas, chimps and orangutans and orangutans are found in Asia, not Africa. And then, since we did do Who Be Playing this week, you needed to have Gloria Gaynor. The original version of I Will Survive was by Gloria Gaynor. Alright, so hopefully you enjoyed the quiz. You can go through and add your points up out of 25. And I said it at the start, but I'll say it again at the end. Please remember to upvote, leave a comment on Reddit. And if you really enjoy these, then feel free to donate to me. It's always a lovely surprise to discover that people value my content like that. Have a great week, and uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next one.